Hello everyone, welcome to another ASC Labs video review. I'm Aaron Schatz, Editor-in-Chief of ASC Publishing. And yes, it's been a long time since we posted a video review, so let's see how this one goes. Today we'll be reviewing the Netgear Neo TV NTV 200 streaming player. This is an internet only player. This is review ID 26745. You can check out this and all our other video and text reviews by going to www.ascelabs.com. So let's take a little look at the NTV 2000 unit itself. And on the top here you have a nice little Netgear logo, as you can see. And the top is nice and glossy, so it'll show all the fingerprints that you put on it. Like that one. The front of the unit has no power button, it just has a Neo TV logo. And there's a little blue LED that'll light up when it turns on. It's very subdued, it's not bright or anything. On the back of it are the minimal amount of ports, you have the AC adapter the optical audio port, HDMI, and Ethernet. This unit is wireless built in already as well, so you can use either the Ethernet port or wireless. And if you have Ethernet, you should use Ethernet. Since this is a streaming only player, it's not like you're going to be pumping stuff through your local network. And in fact, it can't play local network content anyway. On the bottom, four feet, prevents the unit from sliding around, in addition to the actual reset button. So if the unit locks up, you can push this little reset button or just unplug the power, but we haven't had to do that with this unit just yet. So let's take a look at the remote that's given with the Neo TV. And as you can see, it's a very thin and it's a light remote and it feels okay in your hand. It's not as good as like a thicker remote that will actually you'd be able to grip a lot better, but it's fine. When you have a remote this thin though, they use CR2032 batteries. And, the, and it's okay, it's just when you have to replace the batteries in a remote, you don't really have CR2032 batteries just laying around like you would AA or AAA batteries, so that's just something to think about. The button layout of the remote is fine now. Power button, home button, some action buttons, favorites, and the menu keys, fast forward, stop, etc. All that stuff are fairly well laid out. We would have liked to see maybe a number pad, you know, for making text entry a little easier. Needless to say, when you have on-screen keyboards, it gets kind of tedious going to every letter and every object you have to do, and then you know, entering it. So, what are you going to do with the remote when it's this big? But, I mean, you know, text entry could be a little easier on screen, but you have to deal with what you got here. So, that's the remote. So, I might be a little cut off in the frame, but this is the actual review right here, so no worries in that part. This is the actual Netgear Neo TV interface, and as you can see, it's very well laid out. The only thing I don't like about it are these ads at the top that have voodoo content and that's fine if you have voodoo that's that's great you can get the content that you that you have from voodoo but let's just go into the actual initial setup of the unit so I'm just gonna take the uh, remote go all the way down to settings right here and we'll go into the quick setup and this is the actual screen you would see when you actually start the unit for the first time so let's just quickly go through it All right. Select the TV resolution, automatic, of course. Select the standby timing, it doesn't matter. Checking for software update. When I turned it on the first time, there was a software update, but now there's not. And that's pretty much it. Now, because I have mine wired, as you can see, everything is working fine. If you had yours set up for wireless, it would be a little different. You could take a check out the uh, text portion to actually see the screens for the wireless and that's not my connection bandwidth <laughs> I have file service and it's much faster than that so let's go out and we'll go to something like Netflix for instance but I just really want to hit home that look at this interface everything is laid out, that, laid out very well you have this side menu here and you have the content over here. And if you actually start scrolling down, you can see, like, I'm down at the bottom right now. Right? But everything is very well laid out. So, I'm going to go back over here, and let's forget Netflix for right now. Let's go to, like, games. That's right, games. That's something you don't see on units like this. So the Neo TV has games. Let's just play a little bit of Blackjack. And it's like a small application that runs. So... Start and bet like whatever the maximum is, which is 200. 17 with a 10 showing. 
Dealer wins. Good stuff to have on a video review, me losing. Anyway, let's uh, exit this program, and we'll exit. Now we'll go to actually see some streaming stuff. So, one of the best things about having streaming player is Netflix. So let's just go into Netflix, see how the interface is. And it's loading content from Netflix right now. The interface is actually different than a lot of the other units that I've reviewed in the past. And I like this interface. It's, it's simple and it's easy to use. So let's just see some new arrivals in movies, for instance. Limitless, well, let's just check out something real quick to see how this works. Okay. Play a little Limitless, which was actually a really good movie. So if you didn't see Limitless, it's on Netflix streaming. It's queuing up. And let's see if I can fast forward a little bit here. And we'll do that. So this interface is actually fairly standard, but the actual Q screen and... So as you can see, it's actually very, very good quality. But that's enough of the movie. And that's enough of Netflix. So to get back, you can push back a bunch of times, but to get back to the home screen, you would actually put home. Which will take you back to this home screen. Now, it has other things like YouTube, for instance, Pandora, Napster, and a whole bunch of other things. Voodoo. It doesn't have Amazon just yet. And I know Amazon, with their Amazon Prime membership, you can get a whole bunch of free streaming stuff. So I hope that gets added sooner or later. And I think Amazon's going to give Netflix a run for its money. But, if you go into like YouTube, for instance, let's just search for, oh, I don't know, AC Labs content. So it automatically plays something, and what you want, I don't particularly like that it does that, but what you should actually do is just stop this from playing, and then search. And then you have to enter on this on-screen keyboard, which is always fun to do. So let's go A, S, E, there's got to be a better way to do this. Labs. Oops. This is one of the most tedious parts of any unit. It's not just Netgears. It's just, it is what it is. Alright, so we have the bar down here, which is a menu bar, and then when you actually want to play the content, it'll actually, let's just, um, sure, let's choose that one. So this is queuing up this now. And it'll start playing in a little bit. There you go. If I want to pause this, you'll have the actual controls appear right here. And it's actually very intuitive to use. So let's say I wanted to go to a different video in that same search. I would just go back to browse, hit down, and all the videos are back here. So the interface is actually very intuitive. That's enough of uh, this, so let's just go back. It also has some other things that are pretty interesting. It has this fling cue thing which allows you to go on your uh, desktop computer and actually just fling content to this that's supported like on YouTube. So you don't actually have to like search on this thing for it. You can go on your computer and be like, hey guys, you want to check something out and just like load it up onto here. So let's just see what's in this queue. I don't think I have anything right now, but let's just see what's in there. The demo is in there, but you get the idea. It's got some other things, and unfortunately, there's a lot of um, channels that I've seen, like if I go to uh, Howcast, for instance, some of them have advertising, and that, that's not cool, but that's, I'm sure that's done by Howcast itself. But as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of news, and you, know, you can actually get some weather, too. If you go to like Voodoo Apps, you can get the weather, you know, instead of just like looking outside and seeing how the weather is. But as you can see, Voodoo has its own like app interface separate from the unit. So we'll just put weather, see how that comes up. San Francisco, and I'm not typing in searches right now. So you get the idea. 
But yeah, otherwise the interface is actually phenomenal. As you can see, everything is just perfectly laid out. It's very intuitive. And when you go to like something like this and you have these options here laid out like this, it just makes it very intuitive to use. Someone that's less tech savvy should be able to figure this out with no problem. And they can go on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want. So yeah, Net Netgear did a really phenomenal job with this interface. AC Publishing would like to thank Netgear for sending the Neo TV and TV 200 for review. If you'd like to purchase this product, you can check out links on ASC Labs right now to purchase this product. The Netgear Neo TV and TV 200 retails for about $70 or so. It's actually a really good price compared to competing units, and the fact that it only does streaming services from the internet and does them extremely well is actually acceptable with this price range. If you want to spend a little more, you can actually get Netgear's higher-end model that actually supports local streaming content. And in fact, that's something that I would generally do because I have a lot of content on my network and you might have a lot of content in your network that you want to stream as well. But when you're talking about interfaces, the interface that Netgear uses for the Neo TV line is absolutely phenomenal. It actually gets the job done, it's intuitive, and it's actually well thought out. And you really very really don't really see that kind of stuff. That word didn't make sense, but you really don't see that kind of stuff in these kind of like little inexpensive units. But Netgear has it right, and when you're giving this to someone that's a little less technically savvy, having an interface that's actually intuitive is very important, and Netgear has it right. So $70, it's a recommended product from ASC Publishing, and if you want to give it as a gift to someone less technically savvy, this is a great thing to do. So. Good job, Nick here. For ASC Labs and ASC Publishing, I'm Aaron Schatz, and thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our RSS feeds and our YouTube channel to be informed of our latest text and video reviews. And yes, we will be posting more as it comes because we actually have a little bit more time and we're reworking our staff. So if you would like to do any text or video reviews, send me an email or send me a private message or just post in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.